Back here now on the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast to stay within the NFC and now just talk about the Atlanta Falcons. What is going on with their starting quarterback and their head coach, Raheem Morris, in his first season back now as the full head coach, the full uh, position head coach of the Atlanta Falcons, whereas before he was the interim head coach. And now he has full range and full power over the entire roster to determine some pretty big decisions, and he's already had to make some this offseason, obviously, with bringing in Kirk Cousins, paying him a lot of money, still drafting Michael Penix in the first round. Questionable in some people's minds, definitely some head scratchers, I guess you could say, but regardless of that, we're not going to talk about who should be starting at quarterback. I think it's pretty clear that it's going to be Kirk, but the biggest issue with Kirk is is he's coming off of that Achilles injury that he suffered in Week 8 last season. And now, at yesterday's press conference, Raheem Morris officially announced that Kirk has been fully medically cleared for training camp to participate fully um, with everybody else joining the team. And it's big news because recovering from that Achilles, you never know how it's going to go. It's different for every player. You look at Aaron Rodgers, you look at Kirk Cousins now. Very similar timelines, but also different paths of getting there. Both of them made it back to throwing in OTAs. Kirk Cousins, you saw throwing at OTAs at minicamp already, but the full mobility, the full um, ability that he could have reached at that point in time was not up until the max, but now it seems like he's all pretty much close to 100% as you can be after recovering from that. But what does that mean going forward? How much are we going to see Kirk Is he just going to be going out there, running all over the place, and acting like nothing happened? Where is he at in his progression through this? Raheem Morris, on that topic, said that they're still going to be cautious with how they deal with Kirk Cousins going forward. According to ESPN, Raheem Morris said that the team is going to be diligent with Kirk Cousins and also give him modified repetitions throughout training camp to make sure um, that he is as much of 100% and also... Still getting healthier, I think, is the the topic that goes over a lot of people's heads because he is medically cleared, but again, he's not technically that, right? He, you're able to come back and you're able to participate, but that doesn't mean you're up to the level of where you'd love to be. Where he was playing last season in weeks four to eight, where he was just going absolutely insane, he's not at that level yet. He's just, just able now to get back to fully participating in training camp so different things there different meanings for something that is very similar but Raheem Morris is being overly cautious being um, on the safer side keeping Kirk Cousins in a modified sort, sort of personalized plan to try and get him up to speed and healthier as training camp goes on and on that topic Morris specifically said that uh, you feel comfortable with that and moving forward and doing some of those things Obviously, some of his limitations will come in in our individual drills, some of our management, making sure we don't wear him out to the point that we want to get him all the team reps as much as possible. And I think that the last part was uh, the most crucial part of everything where Raheem Moore says, making sure we don't wear him out to the point that we want to get all the team reps with him. So the goal, the point they want to reach is making sure that Kirk is out there for all the first team reps and making sure even if it's not at 100% or they have to sort of walk through everything and make sure nobody, you know, knocks him over or anything like that, pushes him over too hard or hits him at all. They want to get him all the reps, at least the mental reps of going through it, walking through it is a lot better than just sitting on the sidelines and having Michael Penix out there or um, Tyler Heineke out there. They want to make sure Kirk comes into this offense, learning a brand new offense that um, this year with the Atlanta Falcons, getting everything as close to 100% as possible, which all seems great, all seems like they're taking the safe route, being cautious with it. This is the guy that you're paying $180 million or something like that. So it does make sense, but it's not ideally what Kirk wants to do. You know, it is what Raheem Morris has laid out. It is the game plan, but Kirk Cousins also took part in uh, the media availability yesterday, and he also spoke with the media about how he's feeling, what he would like to do this offseason, and how he views it best for him to get back to 100%. And he said, 
in regards to preseason that he wants to play. He wants to get some repetitions in preseason because he thinks it'll help him get more up to speed, get more in a game-like environment, and, you know, test that leg out, test that Achilles out in, again, a game-like scenario. Even though it's preseason, and again, preseason has fallen off from where it used to be, but anything is better than just, you know, training camp because training camp is hard, but again, everybody is on the same team. Everybody knows you're not supposed to look at the quarterback the wrong way before someone, um, you know, curses you out or something like that for trying to hurt the quarterback. When you're going up against a different team, not to say that they're trying to hurt the quarterback, but it's not the same as just running out there with your teammates and making sure that nobody looks or hits the quarterback too hard. So, he wants to play in the preseason, but in what he said to the media yesterday, he said that when he said he wants to play in preseason, when he communicated that uh, to Raheem Morris or to the organization, he said that it felt like it fell on deaf ears. He said that Raheem Morris doesn't want him playing and has already told him that he isn't going to be playing in the preseason, but it could be subject to change. You know, I think it all just depends on Kirk, um, quite honestly. I think it all just depends on how Kirk is looking, if he is very much up to speed and if he is improving a lot faster than maybe they expected him to, I I don't see really a problem with pre- playing him in preseason. Um, there's good and bad things to, to this argument, right? You want to play him because you want to get him in a game-like, game-like scenario. You want to get him out there to test that Achilles against other people that aren't his friends, aren't his teammates, to just test it out, how he moves, how it looks in live action, how his drop back looks, is he putting enough weight on it, is he not putting enough weight on it, that all affects the mechanics of a quarterback, so you want to see that in game action, but on the other hand, absolute nightmare if he goes out there, takes a misstep, slips on the field, an offensive lineman steps on his foot or something like that, then everyone's heart drops, he gets injured again, and you know, you don't know where to go from there, so you understand both sides of it, but again, I think I would I would play Kirk because I think the the benefits outweigh the negatives in this sense just because you look at a guy like Aaron Rodgers, I highly doubt he's going to play in the preseason, and for similar reasons, similar injuries, he's not going to be playing out there. But with Aaron, different scenario, different context just because I think it's a safe bet to assume that Aaron doesn't really need to go out there in the preseason to test out that ankle or test out that Achilles rather because he's going to he's going to look like himself come the regular season. He's off of a full year basically on rest, basically just taking last year off because he only played like two drives or a couple of snaps before he got injured. So, it's not like he has this wear and tear on his body and he's Aaron Rodgers. Obviously, at the end of the day, he's got the legacy, the reputation, everything for people to go out there and expect him to perform at 100% because of the fact that he is Aaron Rodgers. He has no wear and tear on his body, and Achilles' injury is severe, but at that same time, the history, his arm talent, everything suggests that he can do it. But with Kirk, yeah, he's talented. Yeah, he's coming off of a good year. You could say that that momentum could carry on to this year, arguably with more weapons around him, but it's just a little different because the circumstances around Kirk, he's getting paid a lot of money, and of course you drafted the backup just in case um, the worst scenario happens and Kirk does get injured, but that's the last thing you want to happen because, again, you're paying him a lot of money to be the starter. You paid him in free agency to come join your team and be your starter, not to start Michael Penix right away at the start of 2024. That's not the game plan at all. You want to keep him healthy. You want to make sure Kirk can play as long as possible barring any injury, and you have to just triple check that he's going to be that player that you need him to be in terms of staying healthy and in terms of production also. So you don't want to throw him out there too much and maybe risk all of that going down the drain. And it isn't the same with Aaron just because, you know, Aaron is Aaron and Kirk has other circumstances that could affect the Falcons and this game plan, this long-term plan that they have at the quarterback situation where if he's out the window, then you just have to start Michael Penix earlier than you'd expect and then it's another level of uncertainty that you just don't know how to manage at that point um it could help Michael Penix also getting more reps in training camp in that same breath but you're not expecting him to be thrown out there right away and the biggest point I wanted to make 
with why I would just side on the side of um, playing Kirk Cousins in the preseason. The first game that they will play is against the Pittsburgh Steelers at home, albeit that um, you don't want, ideally, honestly, you don't want Kirk to go out there in week one and have his first hit since, I think, October or, or November, if my math isn't failing me. You don't want that first hit to be Cam Hayward falling on top of you, taking a blindside sack from TJ Watt, getting nailed from Alex Highsmith, or just anything like that. The uh, Pittsburgh Steelers defense is very good. Yeah, it's week one. Maybe not everyone's in their ebbs and flows of everything, but you ideally don't want to get hit by any of those guys as your first hit in over a year, um, or just about a year, I should say. So that, to me, is the biggest point. Get him out there. Maybe have him um, get hit a little bit. Maybe try to die for extra yards or something like that. Slide or... Um, hit the ground something to get him at least a little bit used to it because if you wait until the regular season he might as well could very much get injured in that first game if he hasn't been hit in almost a year and then it's the same situation and it's almost more of a panic trying to replace everybody on the fly at the start of the regular season where you have all this hope you have all these ideas of where it's going to go with Kirk and then he gets hurt and everything is just thrown out the window so if worst comes to worst, you get at least address that in the preseason and have a little bit more level of preparation, some more time to prepare for the regular season. If worst case scenario, Kirk Cousins gets hurt again, you don't want that to happen by any means. But I think the the risk outweighs the reward here, um, or the reward outweighs the risk um, with Kirk getting him more prepared for that week one matchup against the Steelers, making sure he's feeling good he's out there against playing against opposition, should serve him well, and I think Raheem should just let him play, honestly, in the preseason. Being overly cautious could also be something that could hold your quarterback back. So, again, it depends on how Kirk looks, but I would play him. I think it's safe enough out there. He's not playing for an entire game also. He's going to play for a drive or two. Um, I think it would serve him well to get back out there, throw to his weapons that he's going to be throwing to all season should be crucial for him in 2024. But anyway, we're going to move on from that topic. Leave your guys' thoughts on what you guys feel that Raheem Moore should do in regards to Kirk Cousins. But we're going to move into the second half of the show now, talking about Omar Khan, the general manager of the Pittsburgh Steelers talking some more on Cam Hayward and his uncertain future regarding his contract and also addressing some of those trade rumors around the wide receiver position. And we're going to end off today's show talking about J.K. Dobbins feeling very good since joining the Los Angeles Chargers. We're going to have a little bit of a debate there. Is it a better uh, situation if the Chargers have a great one-two punch there with Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins, or is it more important that they find that elite number one receiver for Justin Herbert? We're going to get to that in just a few seconds. You're listening to the GSMC Chip Shot Football Podcast. 